time I know they were there, all doing it at the same time. And it was just a great, it was just a great, great sensation to know I was just a part of, of all of them that were doing it. So. I have something to say real quick, just along those lines. Um, I just wanted to say that, you know, we're, we're surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses, as it says in the Bible. Uh, for, for those people that you know that feel alone in this message we, we have to get connected to our history and we have to realize that there are countless saints and great theologians of the past uh, intellectuals mystics all kinds of different people that have been uh, believers in the salvation of all through Jesus Christ and we're never alone because at least in the spirit we, we can know that we're surrounded by all of those great heroes of the faith all throughout history from the very beginning of of the Christian gospel, and, uh, and really in every, uh, every century, um, there has been at least someone um, who has uh, believed in this message and stood up for it and taught it, and, uh, and so we're, we are never alone in the spirit. You know, the least parts are very often the greatest parts. And the least parts in our society um, have been crushed. Those bodies that Jesus has deposited the most in, the systems of this world despise. The religion systems of this world despise them too. And they get beaten down so badly that they're the introvert and they feel like they have nothing to share. And in that place is God's greatest treasure. Yes, that's right. That's right. I'm speaking to one of those here right now who have been beaten down, 